Today I'm going to be talking about Day Shift is about a hard-working dad who is out to provide for his daughter and uses a boring pool cleaning job as a front for his real gig, hunting and killing vampires. The first great thing that I have to say about this movie, and I think the best part for me, was the soundtrack to this movie. A lot of the song choices that they used for certain scenes were almost perfect from my perspective, and I actually caught a lot of the songs that they were using, and there was also some songs that I have never heard of, but they were still good, especially the end credit song. Jamie Foxx is the leading man of this movie, and to be honest with you, he is probably the best character of this movie. You understand his motives and pretty much, I guess this is a spoiler, but I don't know if the trailers showed this, but Jamie Foxx's objective is that he has to get enough money so that he can pay for his daughter's school. So from a parent perspective, I'm not a parent, but for, say if I was a parent, you'd understand why he's doing what he does. And even though he, the way he does it sometimes isn't exactly the most reasonable, you understand why he's doing it because of the end goal that the movie lays out for you. The action scenes in this movie were actually surprisingly good, you know? I like an action movie that doesn't have the camera shaking all over the place, and this movie does have some scenes that are kind of shaky, but for the most part, when the characters are killing and fighting the zombies, there's no shaky cam at all, and I appreciate that. Jamie Foxx and Dave Franco's dynamic in this movie was actually pretty good, you know, obviously when the movie starts, they're from two completely different backgrounds and perspectives, but over the movie, you start rooting for them and you really don't want anything bad to happen to either character just because of the friendship that they build throughout the movie. Jamie Foxx's daughter is honestly a standout for this movie. I don't know who the young actress is, but I thought that in the third act, she started saying a lot of jokes surprisingly and although it didn't ruin the movie for me just because the movie for the most part is pretty comedic even though the main character has to deal with a very serious issue in his life i thought it worked for the movie but i could also see some people not liking the fact that the daughter makes a lot of jokes but for me personally it worked jamie fox's wife or ex-wife in this movie played by Megan Good. She's fine in this movie. She's not really given much to do, so you can't really be surprised by my reaction to her performance just because the movie's not really about her. And now let's get into the bad parts of this movie. I would say the biggest problem with this movie is actually like the first 30 to 40 minutes. For me, it was very slow and obviously has to introduce everything, but I thought the way that it did was kind of lethargic and I don't know, it just didn't work. But once Jamie Foxx and Dave Franco's character interact with each other, that's when the movie starts like getting good. There's a character in this movie named Heather, and from the moment I saw her in this movie, I instantly knew that she was a certain person or she had something to do with another character in this movie. I'm not gonna give it away since the movie literally came out yesterday. This is kind of a spoiler, but towards the third act, uh, a certain character does something that kills uh, another character. That's really important to the story. You'll probably know by the end of the movie what I'm talking about. But the way that that person kills the other person, it's not really set up or anything. There's no payoff, there's nothing. It just kind of happens. And I wish I would have known how that character did that certain thing. The main villain of this movie is played by Carla Duza, I think that's her name. And uh, to be honest with you, she was she was all right, you know. She was intimidating when she needed to be, and she's not in the movie too much. But when she is there, her presence is felt, and you instantly feel, you know, the threat of her and what she can do to Jamie Foxx's character and the people that he cares about. Oh, also, Snoop Dogg is in this movie, and uh, you guys have probably seen the meme of Snoop Dogg's just doing side quests, which is literally true. Like, I know he's acted in other stuff, but this might be the first project that I've seen Snoop Dogg in. And once again, he's not in the movie too much, but, you know, his performance was fine. Overall, guys, Day Shift is, is decent, you know. I think if you're looking for a funny movie that has some great action in it, 
I think you'll be in for a treat, but I will have to say, for me personally, the first 30 to 40 minutes didn't work, and I thought the villain was fine. But overall, I'm going to give Day Shift a 6.5 out of 10. So if you've seen Day Shift, do you like it? Do you not like it? Let me know in the comments. And those are my thoughts on that.